Hello friends, it's your produce guy. Often I talk about zesting citrus for my dishes that I prepare, but I have realized I have never shown you how to zest a citrus fruit. Now I have just received a shipment of wonderful, beautiful, oh, fragrant Meyer lemons from my friends at Lemon Ladies Orchard in California. This is a box of California sunshine that's arrived here on a wintry day for your produce guy and I want to take a minute and show you how to zest these lemons. Now of course zesting citrus fruit that's going to transfer across uh, the, the borders of uh, the different fruits but I love these lemons because they are certified naturally grown meaning there's no pesticides used on these so you can use the zest with confidence in any dish that you have. So I've got a variety of zesting tools here that I'm going to show you how to use and we're going to make some zest right now. The first example of a uh, zester is this little tool right here. I uh, really like this little guy because you can use it, you just draw it across the skin here. It's not the sharpest tool in the drawer, uh, which means there's very little chance you're going to cut yourself with this thing. Now you can see how it just pulls off the zest there not uh, going too deep. You don't want to get this white stuff right there. That can be bitter. Although on our Meyer lemons uh, that's not so much of a problem as it is with uh, your regular lemons. But you can see right there that does a very nice job and it's just uh, the little cutting edge here and these little holes draw it across. Now the next is just a regular uh, grater. It's a micro grater and you just run your lemon over the micro grater and you can see the zest comes out. This is just a tool that we have in the drawer. We use it with uh, uh, cheese or other items that we need to grate up. Now you can see that it, you're going to have to rotate the, uh, the citrus fruit on there to get that done whereas the other little tool just followed. You could just follow the uh, plane of the of the fruit, the curvature of the fruit. Now this is a zester right here and this thing is pretty sharp so you need to be careful. The way to do this uh, is if you do it upside down and run the run the lemon right around it does a nice job gives you a lot of zest. You got to be careful about going too deep with this because the blades are sharp but you see uh, doing it upside down you capture all that zest right there and you put it in your dish. Now, if you don't have any of those tools, you can always come to your reg regular vegetable peeler and just peel the edge. You've got to be careful again not to go too deep. That's a little bit deep there. On that one you can see the white came with it, but again these are Meyer lemons and I'm less concerned about that, the bitterness of, of that white part because it doesn't exist quite so much. You just peel them off and then slice them thinly into strips with your knife and then from there you just chop them up. Today I've shown you several different ways that you can zest citrus fruit. So you can use the tool that you have available. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy a special tool for that. Now I've got all this zest here and I'm going to do some more. I'm not going to use any of it today. What I'm going to do to store it is I'm going to lay it on a piece of parchment paper on a cookie sheet into the freezer. Once it's frozen then I'll put it in a Ziploc bag and maybe uh, uh, move it around a little bit so the pieces freeze totally individually there. That's why I want to do them flat on the cookie sheet to begin with. Then I'll have that zest any time that I need to use it. Now my peeled lemons here, well I'm either going to juice them and freeze the juice or with Meyer lemons you can put them in the freezer whole and, and just uh, freeze them that way and then defrost them when you're ready to use them. Another trick for zesting with these Meyer lemons, freeze them with the skin on, pull them out while they're still frozen and shred that skin on a box grater and you can use that as a garnish or in your recipes. It's wonderful. Thanks for being with us today. Hope this has been helpful to you. Remember if you like the video press the like button down below. Looking forward to see you next time. Reminding you, as always, fresh is best. We'll see you. Now you know, if you've seen any of my other videos, that I love Meyer lemons. The only thing, there is one thing I don't like about them. 
And that is you can't get them all year. So, we, because these are seasonal, we've got to figure out how to store them. And I've got a few methods for you.